Hello everyone, today we'll be learning about three-dimensional figures. So for some vocabulary, we have something called a polyhedron, and a polyhedron is a solid that is bounded by polygons. And these are also called faces. So we have an example of a polyhedron right here, and you can kind of see some different vocabulary related to it. All of the polygons are going to be called your faces. So for instance, this rectangle up on top would be a face. This trapezoid right here would be another face. Your edge are going to be those segments that connect kind of the corners of your polygon. So this red line here would be an edge. And your vertex is where all of your edges meet. And so we have two different types of solids that we'll be talking about today. The first one are polyhedra, so those polyhedrons, basically. And there are two types of polyhedra that we see. We have the first one, which are prisms. And these are when the two bases of a prism are congruent polygons in parallel planes. And so, for instance, this would be a rectangular prism because my two bases are rectangles. My one base here, my one base here, so that'd be a rectangular prism. And the second type of polyhedron that we see is a pyramid, and that's when the base of a pyramid is a polygon. So for example here, my base is going to be this rectangle again. And then these ones are not polyhedra. So we have cylinders, which you know just kind of looks like a can. We have a cone, and then we have a sphere. And so basically polyhedra have curved edges. And so we can go about naming a prism or pyramid, and the way that we do that is we're going to use the shape of the base. And so again, the base is going to be those polygons that are congruent and parallel from each other. So for example, for this first one, I have pentagonal prism. So I just take the base shape, which here is a pentagon, which we see right here. And I know that's the base because they are congruent and they're parallel from each other. And so I take that and kind of put an AL at the end, pentagonal, and then this is also a prism, so I added a prism at the end. Here we see that my base is a triangle. I see this shape is a pyramid, so I call it a triangular pyramid. So let's go through some more examples. So I want to classify the solids. So I'm going to tell whether each solid is a polyhedron, and if it is, I'm going to name the polyhedron. So looking at this first one, I see that this is a polyhedron. I see it's a type of prism. There aren't any curved edges, so I'm going to say yes. Now I need to determine what the base is, and I see that my base here are going to be these two since they're parallel from each other, and I see there's markings, so it kind of gives me a clue that that's going to be my base. So I need to determine what type of shape my base is. And so I see that I have all right angles, opposite sides are congruent, but they're not all congruent to each other, so I see my base is a rectangle. Since I have two bases parallel from each other, this is a prism, so I would call this a rectangular prism. Okay, looking at this next one, first I turn whether it's polyhedron. I don't have any curved edges, so that's going to be a yes. So this is a yes. Looking at this, I see I only have my one base. So that means that this is going to be a pyramid. And to name my pyramid, I need to figure out what shape my base is. And I see my base here is a 
one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that's a hexagon. So that means this is going to be a hexagonal pyramid. Now, looking at this last one, I see that I have a curved surface. And since I have a curved surface, the answer here is going to be no. And that's because of this is actually a cone.